Hello and welcome to Foresight BI Power BI Clinic. My name is Ahmed Oyelo. In this video, we'll be looking at two things in Power Query. How to split columns using text as delimiters and how to split columns using multiple and dynamic text as delimiters. So let's take a look at the problem. Sometimes you download stuff to Excel and you expect to have multiple unique columns but instead what you get is everything lumped up in one single column so you get something that looks like this when your expectation is to have four different columns one for address another one for states another one for state of origin and marital status but instead this is what you get and you need to split all of this into four different columns right so let's see how you do that in Power Query. So I'm going to have to grab this data and pull to Power Query. So from my data tab, I'll select this from table slash range. So when I have this in Power Query, the first thing I'm going to do is to right click and split column by delimiter. So I'll change this delimiter from space. I'll change it to custom. And I want to split the first column by my first heading, which is address. So I will split at the leftmost delimiter. And when I click OK, I have two columns. So it has split address, it has split this column by address using the leftmost delimiter. So it's basically going to keep everything to the right of address and everything to the left of address. So when you look at it, you see the first column is blank. That is because address is actually the first thing in that column and it's keeping everything to the left and everything to the right. So since there is nothing on the left of address, we have one empty column for that, which I can just right click and remove. Then I'll split this further, right click, split column by delimiter. Or, okay, split column by delimiter and this time around, I'm going to go for my second heading, which is states. Also split at the leftmost delimiter when I click OK. So now I have two columns. My first column is now my proper address. And this other column, I need to split it further to get my unique states. So I'll right click here again, split column by delimiter. And I'm going to go for my third heading, which is states of origin at the leftmost delimiter when i click ok i have a new column for my states and i'll split this finally by marital status so split this by marital status at the leftmost delimiter and when i click ok I have everything looking fine so all i just need to do is to rename this heading so this is going to be address this is going to be states this is a state of origin and this is marital status marital status okay but the idea is to really to make all the splitting dynamic. So I don't want to split one after the other. I don't want to split address, split state, split state of origin. What I want is to have a list that already has all these headings. And I want to tell Power Query to go look at those headings and split this data by whatever it finds there. So to do that, let me just bring in my data that has the headings. So now I have two tables. I have my headings table and I have my data table, right? So first thing I will do is basically, because now I want to change all of my steps to something that is more dynamic. So I will go to my first split column step. So this split column step, I'm gonna right click here and delete everything up until the end. So I'm gonna do this all over again. So delete until end. So this is my headings table. I'll come to this headings table and I'm going to convert this into a list. So I'll go to transform tab, select convert to list. So when I convert this to list, I go back to this, my data table, right click and repeat my step. So split by column, split column by delimiter. My delimiter is custom. I'm going to use address as my placeholder. 
so address at the leftmost limiter i click ok then i'll come okay so i click ok and then i'll just simply go back to this step for the splitting i'll go check in the formula bar let's see what this formula is saying so splitter dot split text by each delimiter and the delimiter supplied is address so i'm going to have to change this address so i'll just claim this address and i'll put in that place headings table so don't use address to split but rather use this list i call headings table to split and when i click enter you will see i don't really have what i want because i need to split into four different columns but remember that the first split i did was splitting by address and that splits into two different columns which is the argument you see at this end splitting into two columns problem dot one and problem dot two so those are the two columns so what i need to do is probably specify that you know what i have four columns in here so why are you splitting into two so probably come in here copy this add a comma ask it to also do problem dot dot three do a problem dot three add a comma say do a problem dot four so when i do this i will now have four columns or maybe i should add an extra one split and also do a problem dot five right so when i do that i can now have my five columns or my four columns rather but this is still not dynamic so in order to make it dynamic because if i have to add an extra data to my data source do i need to come in here and start adding problem dot six nope so all i need to do is eliminate this step altogether so clean all of this step all together i don't need it so if i don't use this step i'll still have the same results if i don't use that step i still have my same results right so then i can now remove this guy i don't need him anymore remove this guy and do my renaming so this is address this is state this is state of origin and this is marital status okay so when i'm done i'm gonna come back to home and click close and load so close and load and this is my result so the twist to this that makes it really dynamic is this so if i come in here if i come to okay so i'm basically going to copy something that has date of birth inclusive so if i copy this data with date of birth copy this control c and i put it right here i paste it here control v so now i have date of birth included so all i need to do is come to my headings table and i'll add date of birth so i want to add date of birth and I'm gonna save this file so if i come back here so now i've added date of birth i can just right click and refresh this and i have that new column for date of birth